story is, you know what it is. Real people here, real brothers here. What's going on right now is I'm lucky enough to be in a film that is being presented later by my roommate and my brother, Ifani Eziema. He is the writer and the producer. Amen. I got all my best friends here. I got my cousin right here, all the way from CSUN, coming out to represent. So I'm feeling very happy. I'm feeling very blessed. Stories stick with people. One film in particular stuck with you, the audience. We ask you all as audience members tonight to vote for the film that impacted you the most. The Real Stories X Audience Choice Award goes to the film, Focus. <laughs> sweat all four awards possible <laughs> at this film festival it's insane I think this is the first time it's happened and I'm just really thankful I, I can't ask for anything more So one of the things our alumni office does a really strong job of is fostering alumni connections and making that easy for us to reach out, get in contact with them. And also this year Pepperdine launched Pep Connect, which is pretty much LinkedIn, but for the Pepperdine community specifically, it's a really strong interface and really easy to use. So I went on to Pep Connect, started searching through my industry, found an alumni named Scott Takeda, who I reached out to and he got back to me really quick and before I knew it, we were having coffee the next week. So I think one of the things I'm interested in hearing is just how you got started. When I came to Pepperdine actually, I was originally like undeclared. I was gonna do broadcast journalism because in my mind that was like the happy middle ground of sort of being able to perform, but like, you know, a more practical career choice, I suppose. I ended up auditioning for one of the shows, got a scholarship to be in the theater department, so my parents were happy about that. <laughs> one thing that was great when I was here is we had this like master class series where we got to meet all these different people and they came in and like did uh, classes with us. People were in the industry and it was great, but at the same time they were all like so positive about everything and I was like, I want you to like tell me that I'm horrible and like, <laughs> you know, cause I wanna like prove everyone wrong. I wanna like get out there and then just do it. Cause I was like, it's not gonna, I know it's not gonna be that way. Like people aren't gonna tell me that I'm great when I get out there. And I wanna like get used to that and start like building. So I was ready to like gear up and go. I mean, is that, I mean, is that kind of how you feel too? Yeah, it's funny you mentioned that because I was talking to my parents. I ultimately was back home in Vancouver. I ended up signing with this agent and yeah. I'm really looking Congrats. forward to That's it. Awesome. Oh, thank you. And I know my lease here was until July and I was like, okay, it's been a long four years of accounting and numbers. Yeah. I'll take May, I'll stay in Malibu and I'll surf yeah. and I'll hang out. And then I was sitting there and my agent called and was like, when can you be back to film and stuff like that? And I was like, you know what? Like, why would I take a month to surf? I haven't earned that. <laughs> I need to fly home right after sure, graduation yeah. and just start grinding and yeah. start proving other people wrong and proving myself right, right hopefully like I was just like that's one month I won't get back that like who knows what could come yeah. up in that month that I'm not going to give myself that's great so I think it's kind of similar to you where it's like you're just ready to get out yeah, there and yeah. start getting said no to so that you can hopefully get said yes yeah, to absolutely the sooner you get told no the sooner you get told yes yeah, that's right absolutely. I had such a blast talking with Scott from the minute we saw each other, he was just really friendly, down to earth, was really willing to share with me his story and was also interested in hearing my story. He was such a friendly guy and I had an absolute blast talking with him and Pepperdine specifically has an incredible geographical location with how close it is to LA and just how big an entertainment industry that is, but also because of the specific alumni which have gone here, which hold important places in that industry. It's a really good school if that's something you're interested in. Harmonic, very good. Twelfth fret, stay there. Sorry, I'm like 
So we'll go from the harmonic. Ready and beautiful. This semester I decided to take guitar lessons and it has been a really incredible experience of getting to every week um, learn a little bit more about the guitar, how to play the guitar, different techniques. The guitar program here is one of the top in the nation and to be able to have a faculty member from the program being able to teach me one-on-one -on -one has really helped. And there were different things that I didn't realize beforehand about like holding tension in my hand, um, thumb placement that I like never would have been able to learn just from watching a YouTube video. I wish I had an infinite amount of time to be able to take all the classes I would have wanted to take and to be able to just at least take this one class, I'm really thankful for. And then the F sharp, which is not a harmonic, and then open E, and then the fourth string 12th fret. And now a dramatic E minor chord. <laughs> My soul. The Scythe Can Dance has become one of my favorite philanthropies on campus. It's one that everyone gives a lot of energy and effort to. I know some groups started practicing last semester, which is kind of insane. We started like two weeks prior to the event and it's so competitive that we have to audition just to participate in the philanthropy. We got one more group left. so many people there it was like a very very large crowd and everyone was screaming I mean the entire like Greek life community plus Pepperdine community was there I think overall it went well but I was definitely nervous to get up on stage There's a lot of energy and effort into the day and it's supporting a really cool cause and um, it's actually a foundation that was started by a girl who's in my sorority and one of my friends it's her dad's foundation to conquer paralysis and so it's definitely a cause that's meaningful to our group as a whole to our campus but then even to me um, just because of the care i have for my friend and her family 